Welcome to Lesson 8 in Unit 25, Science in St. Louis. In this lesson, students will answer the question, how do exhibits use ideas about electricity and energy to entertain visitors? Students will first look at different types of forces. Forces like non-contact forces, for example. That's static electricity and magnetism. They will then spend the second part of the lesson learning about circuits and how electricity can transport energy from place to place. In the Engage portion of this lesson, you'll start by showing students a picture of Beatnik Bobs. This is the arcade located in the City Museum. You'll then show students a video of a pinball machine in action, asking them, what do you notice about this pinball machine, and do you wonder anything about how this pinball machine works? You'll then distribute many pinball machines to groups of students. These pinball machines aren't going to have light or sound, but they'll show students the basic forces needed to move a pinball throughout a machine. Use this difference to have a discussion with students about how these toys are different to the pinball machine they observed in the video and how they're similar. In the Explore portion of this lesson, students will go around to different stations observing non-contact forces and how energy can travel from place to place. To set up this activity, you'll have four stations. One station with a magnetic levitator, one with a hand-cranked generator, one with magnetic doodle balls, and the other with an energy stick. Students will travel around to these different stations, and they'll be drawing a model of these stations. On their model, they're going to need to use key vocabulary terms associated with non-contact forces and energy transfer. For example, when your students get to the magnetic levitator station, they're going to need to identify the repelling forces and the attracting forces that allow this toy to make it look like it's floating. When they draw their model of the hand crank generator, they'll start talking about how the motion of their hand generates electricity and allows lights to light up. This will show the transfer of energy from place to place and the transformation of energy from one type of energy to another. In the explain portion of this lesson, students will obtain information from the website article Forms of Energy. While reading this website, they should take note of these bolded words. They'll use these words to label a model later on in the explain portion. Students will connect their reading with the idea of pinball machines. Students will use this model to label the forces that occur in a pinball machine and label the ty different types of energy and energy transfers that occur in a pinball machine. In the elaborate portion of this lesson, you'll ask students the question, how do electric circuits inside a pinball machine work? Students will use an online simulation to see what components of a circuit are needed to make a circuit work. Like right now in this circuit, we have a switch that allows us to close and open a circuit, a battery, and in this one I've just added a resistor so I don't overheat the battery. Students will draw three of the different circuits they made on the simulation in their student journal. They'll use this page to label the different parts of the circuit so that they're familiar with what is needed to make sure that energy can transfer from place to place and transform into different types of energy. In the evaluate portion of this lesson, students will complete a formative assessment about energy and forces. When students get to the formative assessment, they'll read a scenario about playing a game of pinball at Beatnik Bob's. They'll answer questions about energy transformation, and they'll also answer questions about batteries within circuits and how magnets work within a pinball machine. By the end of this lesson, students will have talked about how energy moves from place to place in a circuit, They'll have talked about how energy converts from one form to another form within a circuit, and they will also talk about how magnetic forces allow objects to exert a force on each other without touching each other.